Whether it's a runny nose, frozen ears, or seeing our breath in the air, we're finally experiencing the effects of cold winter weather amid El Nino's move into Canada. But atmospheric physics professor Kent Moore says this deep freeze is not unexpected. And so during, during an El Nino, we expect warmer temperatures, but we can't get these fluctuations where it gets cold. El Nino typically has an impact on the jet stream, the region of high winds that makes its way across the globe. When that system is in effect, less Arctic air comes into parts of Canada, and therefore we get the warm weather we've seen. Lately, that Arctic air, a polar vortex, has shifted south alongside the jet stream, leaving many of us bundling up. Some of the prairies saw temperatures below minus 30, and Alberta has been dealing with electric grid alerts, asking residents to limit electricity during peak power periods. Moore says climate change is likely playing a role as well, impacting how the jet stream is behaving. There is some evidence that as we warm the planet up, these cold snaps or these polar vortices outbreaks are becoming more common. Yet while Canadians deal with record-breaking cold, he says El Nino is still in place. And unlike the day-to-day -day weather, that system has a longer-term plan. On a time scale of a month or so, we should be above average, but we can still get these cold snaps. Global News meteorologist Ross Hull says we have a few more days of this cold, but as we move through January, we'll see some of that milder weather return from coast to coast. However, we could still see some cold snaps this winter, so don't put away those winter jackets just yet. Sean Preble, Global News.